His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Order 3 of 2024, appointing an advisor to His Majesty the King. According to the order, Halab bin Mohammed Jabba Al Ansari was appointed as advisor to His Majesty the King for cultural and scientific affairs with the rank of minister. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa affirmed that Bahraini diplomacy has established itself as a distinguished model of national spirit and identity through its sincere intentions and steadfast policies dedicated to building bridges of cooperation based on the values of diplomatic peace and global solidarity, which serve as the ideal guarantee for security, prosperity and lasting peace for the people of the world. His Majesty expressed confidence that Bahrain's foreign policy continues to progress, uh, guided by a moderate approach that encourages dialogue and understanding and remains fully committed to all laws, conventions and treaties, aiming to achieve its noble humanitarian and developmental objectives, to create a world free from conflicts and wars, capable of facing challenges and confronting all that affect our collective stability and impede our civilizational progress. In this regard, His Majesty emphasised the need to intensify efforts to halt the tragic and regrettable war in the Gaza Strip, while ensuring the provision of all forms of protection for innocent civilians, making sure that humanitarian assistance reaches them in compliance with international humanitarian law. His Majesty reinstated the importance of consolidating efforts to achieve a political settlement that guarantees the right of the Palestinian people to establish the independent state in accordance with the two-state solution and international legitimacy resolutions, which is a priority to the national diplomatic endeavours. His Majesty praised the efforts of all diplomats who represent Bahrain abroad, as well as the Ministry of Foreign Affairs staff for the sincere dedication in safeguarding the interests of our nation and highlighting its developmental achievements while working on strengthening its international relations by conveying Bahrain's civilizational message and its call for tolerance, brotherhood and peaceful coexistence among the peoples and countries of the world. His Majesty wished everyone success in fulfilling their national duties, expressing appreciation to their accredited ambassadors to the Kingdom for their outstanding diplomatic efforts in fostering friendship and advancing a shared interest with their respective leaders and peoples, which have a positive impact on Bahraini society. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Majesty the King's special representative, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, on Bahrain a Diplomatic Day. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak added that designating this day annually to celebrate Bahraini diplomacy reflects its national role in promoting achievements, protecting interests, and developing cooperation with brotherly and friendly countries to achieve common interests and raise Bahrain's regional and international status. He affirmed that Bahraini diplomacy achieved major successes as a result of the directives and visions of His Majesty the King and his approach in positive openness, constructive cooperation with the international community and the establishment of the principles of solidarity with all nations and peoples in light of the values of tolerance and coexistence. He wished His Majesty abundant health and happiness. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the advisor to His Majesty the King for Diplomatic Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, on Bahrain Diplomatic Day, affirming that this national occasion highlights the significant role Bahraini diplomacy plays in various fields, at all levels and in international forums. The advisor to His Majesty the King for Diplomatic Affairs stated that Bahraini diplomacy will continue its successful march of promoting Bahrain's achievements and strengthening friendship and cooperation with world countries for the interest of Bahrain and in line with His Majesty's directives and unlimited support. He wished His Majesty abundant health and happiness to continue Bahrain's march of progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Ziani, on Bahrain Diplomatic Day, which is celebrated on January the 14th every year, in tribute to the dedicated efforts of national cadres in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to develop cooperation between Bahrain and brotherly and friendly countries, as well as protect its interests and raise the status in the international community. 
The Minister expressed thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for his continued support of the Foreign Affairs Ministry and its personnel and for his directives and wise visions to further promote relations of friendship and cooperation between Bahrain and world countries, which is in line with Bahrain's principles that call for solidarity and harmony with all nations and peoples, based on the values of tolerance, coexistence and constructive cooperation. Dr Alziani recounted Bahrain's diplomatic progress over the past 50 years, which resulted in numerous remarkable achievements on regional and international levels, contributing to strengthening Bahrain's status in the international community as a nation advocating for international peace and security. He wished His Majesty the King abundant health, a long life and further success in leading Bahrain's comprehensive development process to achieve further growth and prosperity, supported by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a cable of congratulations from the Special Representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, on Bahrain Diplomatic Day. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak affirmed the Kingdom's role in advancing national accomplishments and enhancing its partnerships with its allies to achieve mutual aspirations. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak noted that the success achieved by Bahraini diplomacy is thanks to the directives and vision of His Majesty the King and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak wished His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister continued success in enhancing the Kingdom's ongoing progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a cable of congratulations from the advisor to His Majesty the King for Diplomatic Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, on Bahrain Diplomatic Day. Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed emphasised that the national occasion reflects Bahraini diplomacy's important role locally, regionally and internationally. Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed highlighted that in the line with the directors of His Majesty the King and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Bahraini diplomacy will continue to enhance the Kingdom's wide-ranging achievements and cooperation with its allies across various areas that benefit the Kingdom. Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed wished His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister continued success in enhancing the Kingdom's ongoing progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister also received a cable of congratulations from the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Ziani, on Bahrain Diplomatic Day. Dr Al Ziani highlighted the efforts of the national workforce in enhancing cooperation between the Kingdom of Bahrain and allied countries, protecting its interests and its international standing. Dr Al Ziani expressed his gratitude to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for the unwavering support in consolidating the Kingdom's relations with all countries in line with the Kingdom's deep-rooted values of tolerance, coexistence and constructive cooperation. Dr Al Ziani recalled the Kingdom's diplomatic development which spans over 50 years and accomplishments in diplomacy which enhanced the Kingdom's position internationally as a country promoting global security and peace. Dr Al Ziani wished Bahrain further progress and prosperity in line with the Kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty the King and supported by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the royal wedding ceremony of His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Mateen, son of Sultan Haji Hassan Al Bukhia. His Highness Sheikh Nasser conveyed the congratulations of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to His Majesty the Sultan of Brunei and His Royal Highness Prince Al Mutabila and His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Mateen, and the wishes of a happy married life. His Highness also congratulated His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Mateen, wishing His Royal Highness a happy married life. His Highness noted the strong fraternal relations between Bahrain and Brunei.
The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, had arrived in Brunei at a special invitation to attend the wedding ceremony of His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Mateen, son of Sultan Haji Hassan Al Abulkia. Upon arrival, His Highness Sheikh Nasser was welcomed by Deputy Minister of Financial Affairs of Brunei, Yang Multitato Seri. Representatives Council Speaker Ahmed Amusalem, a Foreign Affairs Minister Dr. Abdul Latif Al Ziani, Parliament Affairs Minister Ghanem Al Bouinian participated in the inauguration of the Parliamentary Diplomacy Programme. The opening coincides with Bahrain Diplomatic Day, where the Speaker expressed the Representatives Council honour to be an active part within a team Bahrain in achieving the foreign policy goals of Bahrain. Amu Salem stressed that the relation between official diplomacy and the parliamentary diplomacy and their common concerns to unite visions and goals will lead to further Bahraini diplomatic achievements with all efficiency and distinction. The Foreign Affairs Minister stressed that the launch of the parliamentary diplomacy programme embodies cooperation between the Ministry and the Representatives Council within the framework of enhancing cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities. Minister Alziani noted that the launch of the second version of the programme is an important positive step towards achieving the role of parliamentary diplomacy in enhancing the position of the Kingdom at the international level. The Shura Council held its weekly session presided over by its Speaker Ali Al Saleh. The Council hailed the support of the Bahraini diplomacy it receives from the government, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, by utilising all national potentialities to achieve the country's interests and defend its stances. The Council approved considering the proposal regarding amending the law on care, rehabilitation and employment of people with disabilities. The Russia Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, the REHC, organised today the 16th meet of the season on the Cups of the Royal Golf Club, Al Balad newspaper, Spartan Fitness, Leit Sheikh Rashi bin Mohammed Al Khalifa and Safra. The meeting saw the attendance of a number of the Highnesses, representatives of sponsors and equestrian sport enthusiasts at REHC's race course in Al Rafa, Sakir. Winners of the Cups were crowned. The CEO of REHC, Yosef Usama Bahiji, presented the Trophy of Safra Cup to the winning trainer's assistant, Ishak Murad, while a member of the Board of Directors of Al Balad Media Foundation, Jawad Al Hawaj, presented the second round trophy to the winning trainer's assistant, Ishak Murad. Member of the Board of Directors of Royal Golf Club, Zain Al Amr, presented the third round trophy to the winning jockey, Andre Elliott. While well, member of the Board of Directors of Royal Golf Club, Ibrahim al presented the fourth round trophy to the winning trainer, A.M. Smith. Director of Spartan Fitness, uh, David Eldavi, presented the fifth round trophy to the owner, Adil Ahmed, as well as the eighth round trophy to His Highness Sheikh Sultan al-Din bin Mohammed al-Salman al-Khalifa. While Sheikh Salman bin Rashid al-Khalifa presented the trophy of the late Sheikh Rashid bin Mohammed al-Khalifa Cup to His Highness Sheikh Sultan al-Din bin Mohammed bin Salman al-Khalifa. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif Al Ziani, inaugurated the Diplomatic Forum 2024, coinciding with Bahrain Diplomatic Day. In the presence of the heads of diplomatic and consular missions of Bahrain abroad and senior officials in the ministry. In his remarks, the minister welcomed the attendees, expressing pride and appreciation for his king's dedication of January the 14th every year to celebrate the Bahraini diplomacy and its outstanding contributions. Dr. Al Ziani expressed appreciation and gratitude for the support of His Majesty the King and the tireless follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the efforts of its staff. The Foreign Affairs Minister praised the efforts of all heads of missions abroad, officials, and employees of the ministry in serving the country and shouldering responsibility in difficult times, dealing with various challenges in the best possible ways, and the constant communication between ambassadors and citizens abroad towards raising Bahrain's status in all political, consular and developmental fields. 
He noted that the Ministry of Foreign Affairs has an important objective this year in preparing the Kingdom for the hosting of the Arab Summit, in addition to its candidacy for a non-permanent membership at the Security Council for the period 2026 to 2027, and the training of diplomats and ensuring their readiness for this important event. Dr Alziani stressed that this meeting is an important opportunity to exchange views and ideas on various regional and international issues and to discuss best consular, administrative and security practices, as well as platform to comprehensively review the achievements, challenges and strategies adopted by the Ministry and to take all views that contribute to improving and developing the work of the Ministry. He also praised the distinguished initiatives achieved over the past years by Bahrain's missions abroad and various sectors and departments in the Ministry and was proud of the achievements made. The Foreign Affairs Ministry Under Secretary for Political Affairs, Sheikh Dr Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, praised the wise and balanced foreign policy of Bahrain and its pioneering role as an effective model in establishing peace diplomacy, international understanding and human solidarity for the good of humanity and coexistence in safety and prosperity. He expressed during his participation in the first session of the Diplomatic Forum, organised by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, entitled Bahraini Diplomacy in 2024, Positions, Priorities and Challenges, Appreciation and Pride for the Participation of a Number of Ambassadors and Senior Ministry Officials. The Under Secretary for Political Affairs expressed pride in the principles of the foreign policy of the Kingdom, which has been based on leaders and pioneers for more than five decades. Sheikh Dr Abdullah reviewed the progress made in the implementation of the Ministry's projects and its policies in caring for the interests of citizens and developing political and consular cooperation with brotherly and friendly countries. Sheikh Dr Abdullah touched on Bahrain's diplomatic positions and its keenness under the leadership of His Majesty the King to establish a just and comprehensive peace and to end unjustified wars and conflicts, including stopping the war in the Gaza Strip. Bahraini diplomacy charted a consistent and unwavering approach and has succeeded over the course of 55 years in being the official voice of the Kingdom of Bahrain. More in this report. The Kingdom of Bahrain has sought, through its national efforts, to establish its high regional and international status through a wise and balanced foreign policy, by activating diplomacy in all its forms and tools and through its international presence which contributed to the formation of a set of principles, authentic Bahraini values and constants in its diplomacy and foreign policy until it became a model in its messages of peace and coexistence. Through its national journey, which began over five decades ago, Bahraini diplomacy has adopted a unique model through openness to the world and its endeavor to build relations, exchange interests and civilizational communication with the world. The Kingdom was able to achieve excellence and success that reflected its moderate and balanced foreign policy and expressed the authenticity of the Kingdom and its people. The Kingdom of Bahrain takes pride in the efforts of its people in various fields of the diplomatic sector inside and outside the country, and their strong values and sincerity in serving their country, achieving its highest interests, defending its stances, and highlighting the achievements of the National March under the leadership of His Majesty the King. The Kingdom of Bahrain will continue, through its ambitious foreign policy, to play its active role in the international community to support sustainable development goals, promote and protect human rights and freedoms, establish global peace and stability, and call for the settlement of disputes through diplomatic means and respect for international laws, customs and conventions. The diplomatic work of the Kingdom of Bahrain in 2023 contributed to strengthening its relations with brotherly and friendly countries to achieve common interests and affirm its balanced foreign policy. Bahrain's diplomacy during the past year affirmed its adherence to solid principles based on the values rooted in the Kingdom's leadership, government and people. More in this report. Year after year, the Kingdom of Bahrain's balanced diplomacy emphasises its active role in various issues. This year's celebration of Bahrain's Diplomatic Day is a testament to Bahraini achievements in various files during the past year to promote common interests and achieve its mission. The manifestations of Bahraini diplomacy are evident in the positive international relations that Bahrain is keen to grow and support in various forums. 
Joint meetings with various personalities and diplomats from Bahrain and in various countries always come in fulfillment of the aspirations of His Majesty the King and in confirmation of the approach of the government of Bahrain, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, that international cooperation is based on mutual trust and sincere intentions, and that common understanding is the best way to overcome joint challenges. 2023 is another year that proves the extent of the success of Bahraini diplomacy. The constants of the Kingdom of Bahrain's speeches abroad have not changed for more than 50 years. They are consistent with the Kingdom's established principles that call for solidarity and fraternity with all nations and people within the framework of the values of tolerance, human coexistence and constructive cooperation. Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture Ministry Under Secretary for Municipal Affairs Engineer Sheikh Mohammed bin Ahmed Al Khalifa and BAPCO CEO Dr Abdurrahman Jawahiri inaugurated Mahmir Park. National Initiative for Agricultural Development NIAD Secretary General Sheikh Maram bin Isa Al Khalifa and Head of the Capital Municipal Council Engineer Salah Tarada were present. The Under Secretary affirmed the continuation of implementing service and development projects, including park development projects, to achieve the aspirations of citizens and residents and to support the implementation of sustainable development goals. Engineer Sheikh Ahmed pointed out that the development of Al Meh Park is a result of the cooperation between public and private sectors, highlighting BAPCO's contribution in the development work in the park, with an area of about 2,200 square metres. Combating climate change became an international goal in which Bahrain has become an active part through its international participation. To adopt the principle of Planet Earth First, the Saudi Crown Prince launched the Green Middle East Initiative with the participation of 25 countries, including Bahrain, as an active and influential part of regional and international efforts aimed at combating climate change and declaring its commitment to the most important global initiatives and agreements on climate and achieving carbon neutrality by 2060 by doubling the number of trees in Bahrain by 2035.